I got interested in science when I was little. I, I absolutely loved looking at anything under a microscope or hearing anything about science. My research focuses on chronic kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease is a serious problem in the United States. Currently, or as of 2010, there were 24 million adults that had been diagnosed with chronic kidney disease. And so we want to understand when kidneys are undergoing this compensatory change, how are they handling toxicants? People are being exposed almost daily uh, to, to mercury compounds, whether it be mercury vapor from um, power plant, plant releases or mercury vapor from fillings in their teeth, dental amalgams, or it could be from ingesting methylmercury that's present in fish. So mercury as a whole is, is a very important toxicant to understand. So when you combine chronic kidney disease and a nephrotoxicant like mercury, it becomes a very important problem. Now several of the techniques that we use are the isolated perfused tubule technique. We also use tissue culture. We also use membrane vesicles. Um, so we have a, a variety of in vitro techniques that, that allow us to examine the transport of mercury and the effect of kidney disease on the transport of mercury. The isolated perfused tubule technique is a very interesting technique and it's, it's a very complicated technique. It's one that only a handful of labs in the United States are doing. And so we are fortunate to have this technique in our lab. Essentially, what we do is we take out one nephron out of the kidney, one single tubule out of the kidney, and we're able to perfuse it with a variety of different compounds. Currently, we're using mercury so that we can understand how mercury is taken up or transported back out of the, the cells. So this single tubule can be perfused under the same conditions that it would experience in the intact animal. It helps us understand how mercury is taken up and how mercury is put into urine for excretion. My particular grant is an R15 and it is focused on undergraduate research. It's, it's specifically designed to encourage smaller institutions to have research programs that involve undergraduates. And so having the undergraduate campus right across the street is a huge asset to my research program because I can involve undergraduates in my research so we have an undergraduate student in our lab right now and she's been very productive and she's very helpful and energetic and excited about being in the lab and doing research and we hope that she'll get some really great data this summer so that she can present it at the undergraduate research program in the spring. We've had several undergraduates that have worked in our labs. Uh, one of them is an author on a paper. Um, so we've had very good luck with undergraduates present in the lab and, and being involved in laboratory research. So the ultimate goal of my research is to understand the actual specific transporters that are involved in the transport of mercury in the kidney. So we want to understand which carriers are involved in transporting mercury into the kidney and which carriers are involved in transporting mercury out of the kidney into the urine for excretion. We also are looking at various chelators and trying to understand how mercury can be extracted from the kidney. So that's kind of the overarching big goal of, of my lab is just understanding the movement of mercury in and out of cells in the kidney uh, once it gets in, how it gets out, and if we can extract it out. I've transitioned from a postdoctoral position into a faculty position, so now I, I teach histology. I teach in the GI and the renal phases um, for the second year medical students, and, and I really enjoy it. I try not to give them too much transporter biology in, in that, but I enjoy kind of seeing the whole organ approach and watching the students learn it and watching the students kind of it, it, it kind of clicks in their mind when they get the concepts.